and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. We have got you all the latest news and updates from the blockchain technology world. CryptoWire, a crypto super app which also includes the channel Crypto TV, has launched India's first index of cryptocurrencies IC15. The IC15 index is aimed at helping investors track the performance of top 15 widely traded liquid cryptocurrencies listed on leading crypto exchanges across the globe. To track the IC15 index and its constituents, download the CryptoWire app from the Play Store. And now let's take a look at the headlines. UST Stablecoin Foundation raises $1 billion from Luna Sale. London Stock Exchange Group acquires fintech company Tora for $325 million. Tokenized asset firm Securitize acquires Stock Transfer Company. Bitcoin climbs above $38,000 as sanctions seek weakening resolve of war. OK Group leads $21 million funding for Brazilian exchange Foxbit. IMF warns Nigeria's e Naira CBDC may pose money laundering and Terra funding risk. Manchester City partners with Sony to build first football stadium in Metaverse. White Hat Hackers saves billions of dollars of users' funds. Singapore-based Luna Foundation Guard, a non-profit organization that supports the growth of the Terra ecosystem, has raised $1 billion from sale of Luna, the native token of the Terra blockchain. The funding, which ranks among the largest, will go towards building a Bitcoin-dominated foreign exchange reserve for UST, an algorithm-based stablecoin in the Terra ecosystem. The funding round was led by Jump Crypto and Three Arrows Capital, with partnership from DeFinance Capital, Republic Capital, GSR Ventures and Tribe Capital, among others. The UST Forex Reserve aims to strengthen and protect the peg of the UST stablecoin, which is algorithmic-based. Earlier this month, the Terra Network spent $40 million on a sponsorship from the Washington Nationals baseball team. Last week, a US District Court judge in New York orders Terraform Labs and CEO Do Kwon to comply with subpoenas that the US Securities and Exchange Commission had issued. The London Stock Exchange Group, the parent company of London Stock Exchange, has bought Tora, a provider of technology from the trading of various asset classes including crypto for $325 million. The acquisition will help add digital assets to LSEG's trading capabilities. The deal will open opportunities for LSEG to offer crypto or non-fungible token trading in the future. The acquisition is expected to close in the second half of this year, subject to regulatory approval. LSEG is the provider of global financial markets data and infrastructure. Tora provides order and execution management system and portfolio management for the trading of equities, fixed income and derivatives as well as digital assets. Securitize, the blockchain-based digital asset securities firm, has bought Pacific Stock Transfer, a company that manages the account balances of investors and certificates of security ownership. This latest acquisition by Securitize makes the firm a top 10 US stock transfer agent serving 1.2 million investors accounts and 3,000 clients according to a press release. Securitize acquisition of Pacific Stock Transfer will help Pacific Stock Transfer clients to gain new exposure to capital raising, investments and trading opportunities as well as the option to tokenize and digitally service their shares. Securitize CEO Carlos Domingo said in a statement, the securitized deal is another step in equities markets moving away from a paper-based past to a blockchain-based future. Bitcoin climbed above $38,000 in Asian trades Wednesday as investors heaved a sigh of relief as an immediate threat of war receded over the ongoing tussle between Russia, US and other allies de-escalated to sanctions. US President Joe Biden slapped sanctions on Russia after President Vladimir Putin on Monday signed a decree in Moscow recognizing the independence of Donetsk and Luhansk regions in eastern Ukraine. Biden signed an executive order to prohibit trade and investment between US individuals. The UK has also threatened significant sanctions against Russia. Bitcoin, the oldest cryptocurrency, was at $38,006, up 2% in the last 24 hours. 
BTC is down roughly 15% over the past week. Ether, the second biggest currency by market cap, was at $2,619, up nearly 1% in the same time frame. Chinese blockchain company OK Group led a $21 million Series A funding round for Brazilian exchange Foxbit, according to reports. Foxbit would reportedly use the funds for hiring technology and possible acquisitions. Foxbit supports a wide range of assets including cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum as well as stablecoins and utility tokens. Sao Paulo-based Foxbit was founded in 2014 by Joao Canhada and Luis Augusto, according to its website. Felipe Trovao was the company's first investment partner. The exchange has close to 1 million registered users. In 2020, Foxbit saw transactions of more than 3 billion Brazilian reals or $593 million and said in December that it had transacted more than 9 billion reals or nearly $1.8 billion. The International Monetary Fund warned that Nigeria's e-Naira could pose money laundering risk despite previously stating that the central bank digital currency was safer than Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. According to an IMF, Consultation published this month using the e-Naira for cross-border payments carries the risk of laundering money and financing terrorism. Apart from money laundering risk, the IMF's report also highlighted cyber security's concern associated with Nigeria's CBDC. The IMF emphasized the need to fix existing deficiencies in the anti-money laundering and combating the financing of terrorism framework. The Central Bank of Nigeria introduced the country's first central bank digital currency, e-Naira, in October 2021. In the first month, the CBN claimed almost 500,000 customers had downloaded the digital currency wallet along with 80,000 merchants' subscribers. Manchester City, the current English Premier League winners, has partnered with Sony Corporation to build the world's first football stadium in the metaverse. The British soccer team announced on Friday that it has entered into a three-year agreement with tech giant Sony to build a virtual replica of its Etihad Stadium, which will be the team's central hub in the metaverse. Sony will provide virtual reality to experts to use image analysis and skeletal tracking technology from subsidiary Hawkeye. The club's officials believe the project will enable the team's supporters to watch live games from the comfort of their homes without travelling to the British town. Meanwhile, Manchester City's biggest rival, Manchester United, has signed a $27 million deal with blockchain platform Tezos to carry its logo on the team's training kit. Immunify, a bug bounty platform revealed via a bug fix review that Polygon's team had successfully fixed the bug identified by white hat hacker Niv Yeheskel, which could have led to a loss of billions of dollars of users' fund. The white hacker alerted the team after the discovery of vulnerability in Polygon's smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain on January 15. Immunify's report notes that for the bug to have been exploited, black hat hackers would first have to meet certain impossible conditions like the availability of a validator spot and maintaining the cost of the spot. The firm announced a reward of $75,000 to the hacker for the display of altruism and attention to detail. That's all in the bulletin for now. Keep watching Crypto TV.